going to fight off some of those boredom blues at home. Um, we're just going to give you a little bit of breathing, a little bit of movement, and a little bit of fun. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, this is Hannah, and this is Lachlan, and this is Mia. They're going to be my yoga helpers today. So we're going to sit in an easy seat pose, so that's crisscross applesauce. And we sit up nice and tall with our shoulders over our hips. So sometimes we tend to roll our shoulders down or look kind of back. And so our happy seat is going to be sitting up nice and tall. So everybody take your shoulders and take them up towards your ears and then roll them down your back. And we'll see how tall we can sit up and you're going to put a big smile on your face. All right, looking happy. Okay, so we're going to close our eyes and we're going to begin with just a little meditation. So you do, you can have your hands down onto your knees or you can flip your palms up towards the sky and just close the eyes. And just notice your breath. And you notice you hear the sounds. You have thoughts coming through your mind. Just let them pass through this like moving cloud and bring your attention back to your breath. Watching. Nice. And now we're going to take our wings and take them up towards the sky and just 
kind of make them go up and down. And we're going to go across the room and ask, where would you fly to if you were to be able to leave the house? Where would you like to go if you could go anywhere? Hawaii. Hawaii. Mia? Back to Costa Rica. Back to Costa Rica. Laughlin? The Bahamas. The Bahamas. Nice. I think I might go to the Philippines where my mother is from. Um, and I see a lot of relatives, so that would be good. All right, so go ahead and relax the legs down. And then see if you can take the feet away from you a little bit further. And see if you can take your fingertips and reach them towards the middle. Stretch. And then take your head and see if you can make it go between your arms. Try to kiss your toes. We only help you wash your toes. And now walk your fingertips back towards your body. All right. So that's just a little bit of a warm up. Um, we're gonna take our legs and go back to crisscross applesauce. Take your arms do the shape of a T. T for what? Today? <laughs> what? A toodle? No, T pose. T pose. T pose. Okay, this could be T pose. I like it. All right, and now rest your hands on top of your shoulders and then take your elbows and make them go forward. We're gonna warm up our shoulders. Everybody make big circles. See how fast you can go, it's like airplane wings taking off. There you go. <laughs> Lachlan actually might fly. And then we're gonna go back the other way. Nice. All right, and then rest. Okay, have you guys been doing laundry since you've been home? A little bit. A little bit. Mom's been doing a lot. Let's pretend all this is laundry. Take the laundry, put them in the washing machine, dump it in, dump it in. All right, now we gotta turn the washing machine on. So rest your hands on your knees and make big circles as we turn the washing machine on. Try not to bump into each other. There you go. All right, and then we're gonna go the other way. <laughs> and yoga is fun when it's kids yoga, right? You don't have to be so serious about everything. All right, okay, and then we're gonna stop and get a really tall spine, okay. So um, I have a few fun things over here that I'm gonna start with. And this was from Five and Below, but if you don't have one of these, you can learn the pose and do that at home. So we're gonna roll the dice and whatever pose it is, we're gonna do the pose. So who wants to begin with this? Okay, Mr. Lachlan, don't roll it too far. Just roll it right here so we can see. All right, we have... Namaste. Namaste, okay. So um, at the end of yoga class, we sometimes bring our hands to our heart like this, and we say namaste, which just means we respect you, we honor you, and sometimes we bow, we say namaste. All right, thank you. Okay, um, go ahead. Oh. Warrior one. Warrior one. Okay, already stand up at the top of your mat. All right, tap on your left leg. We know our left leg. Oh, the other left. <laughs> there you go. So we do a little tap. Bring that leg up towards the sky and just step it back about three or four feet. Okay, and your back foot's a little bit angled, about 45 degrees towards the front. And then take your hands under your hips and then shift your hips forward. There you go. And then tuck your belly in and now bend your knee. Not so it's we don't want it over the ankle, but bend your knee, and then take your arms up towards the sky, alongside the ears, and then reach, reach, reach. That is warrior one. You guys are looking nice and strong. Looking good, all right. So that's warrior one. Who's next? Mia? Whoa, what do we get, what do we get? We got crescent moon. Crescent moon, okay. So everybody stand with their toes to touch. Nice and tall. We're gonna do a little mountain pose here. So take your arms forward, palms facing forward. You're really engaging the thighs here. Your kneecaps are almost coming up a little bit. Your belly's tucked back towards your spine. Your collarbones are wide. You're nice and strong here. So this is mountain pose. So for mountain pose, reach your arms up for the sky as you breathe in. And then in the crescent pose, we're gonna, we can bring our palms to touch like this and then reach over to one side. So you're opening up that big space on that left side or right side, whichever side you're going. And in yoga, what we do on one side, we usually do on the other. So inhale, breathe to the center. Exhale, come to your other side. Nice, keep your chest nice and wide. Nice, inhale, come to center. And release the arms back down into mountain pose. Perfect, and then I'm gonna do one, and then we're gonna play a game. What did we get? Child's pose. Okay, so with child pose, we're gonna come down onto our knees. Uh, we're gonna be fairly close to the center so they can see us. 
So you're going to bring your big toes to touch behind you and your knees can either be together or they can be nice and wide. So your choice. And then you're going to take your arms and you're going to stretch them out nice and far into the center. Nice and long. And then you're going to drop and rest your forehead to the mat. Relax the head down. See if you can touch fingers. Nice. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. <sighs> All right, now walk your fingertips back towards your knees. That's child's pose. So at any time that you're feeling stressed or a pose is feeling hard or difficult, you can always rest in child's pose. That's one of my favorite poses. All right, so you guys ready for a game? Let's see what kind of game we want to play. How about we play um, small tree, tall tree, one, two, three. Okay, so we're all going to stand back um, along here. I'll move these candles so we don't knock those over. Okay, you want to go back there? Okay, you can go back by the door. And um, it's almost like a game of red light, green light. So I'm going to come up forward here, and then you guys are going to go back towards the door. And you're going to walk real slow because this is just an example of our um, small space. So um, well, I'm going to say small tree, tall tree, I'm going to turn around and you guys have to come up in a tree pose um, without and then start walking towards me. So whoever gets to me first wins. So what we're going to, or nobody wins, we're all there. You turn around on three. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, on three, I turn around. So in tree pose, let me show you what that looks like. You're either going to take one foot and rest it along the ankle. You're going to bring it to your calf or all the way up towards your inner thigh. You're going to open your hips nice and wide. You bring your hands to your heart. You can make your tree branches grow nice and wide if you want to. You can pretend you're a palm tree. What are some other fun trees that we could be today? Oak trees. Oak trees are nice and strong. Any Oak others? Trees. What's that? Coconut trees. Coconut tree. Lock on any other trees you can think of? Cypress. Banana trees. <laughs> I like banana trees. Okay, are you guys ready? We're going to walk really slow, though, so that the space is really small. Okay, are you ready? Small tree, tall tree, one, two, three. <laughs> Almost. You can't use the wall to hold yourself up. Watch the candles. Small tree, tall tree, one, two, three. Small tree, tall tree, one, two, three. Hello. Oh, you got to stay in tree pose. And if you fall out, you got to go all the way back. Oh. oh, yeah, foot off the ground. Okay, do that. Small tree, tall tree, one, two, three. Okay, all right, good job, guys. All right, have a seat. Good job. All right, so um, that was a fun game, and we learned another pose. That's a balancing posture that helps with concentration and focus. So if you're ever feeling you need that, um, you can always come into tree pose and then um, pretend your whatever kind of tree, make your tree branches grow. All right, so the next game we're going to play is, how about we play um, beatbox. So I'm going to pick a person. Uh, let's see if it's, I'm going to pick Lachlan. Okay, Lachlan, you go over there and sit on that bench and turn your eyes. I'm going to pick the beatbox person, and that is going to be going to be secret so nobody can see and then what we're going to do is we're going to start a beat and then Lachlan's going to have to try to figure out who it is um, that is the person changing the rhythm so you'll get you'll get the gist of it once we get started okay Lachlan come on over oh wait wait actually yeah close your eyes close your eyes and go ahead and start
the big wind blows. So I'm going to say when the big wind blows, um, um, I um, like chocolate. And if you like chocolate, it's kind of like you're going in a, um, a circle and you're trying to find your mat. It's like musical mats in a sense. So we're going to start playing. You'll get the gist um, while we start playing. Okay, everybody stand up. All right, and this is a small space. If you have your family at home, you can make it a little bit more challenging by spreading the mats a little bit, having a little bit more fun. So are you ready? So uh, I'm gonna start, this will be our trial run. When the big wind blows, I like pizza. If you like pizza, then move to another mat, and then you've gotta get into a yoga pose. So we learned our warrior pose. We got some trees here. Okay, so stay in your pose. And then, um, when the big wind blows, I like anchovies. <laughs> okay, so if you don't like anchovies, then you stay still. But if it's something that you like and you rotate, and then we pull a mat each time. All right, so we're gonna try one more thing. It's just a practice round. All right, so when the big wind blows, I like chocolate. <laughs> Chair pose. Or oh, shoulder right. pose. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay, everybody come back to your mats. That was a fun oh, game. Well. So this is just an example of something that you guys can do. All right. So the next thing we're going to try is we have these fun, um, they're called yoga pretzels. You can buy this online. Um, this is a great activity for kids. And you can basically learn all the yoga poses, there's over 50 of them inside, and um, they give you just some fun ideas and explains how to do it in a fun way. So we're gonna pick a card and we're just gonna do a few poses and then everyone can learn. So we'll have Ms. Hannah go first. All right, funny so breath. funny breath. So in yoga, we practice um, breathing, which helps relax us, it helps uh, de-stress when we're in difficult situations. So this is a really fun uh, way to uh, relax. So bunnies are very alert. They keep, your, uh, keep yourself awake and alert with this cleansing breath. So sit on your shins with your back straight, your shoulders wide, and your chest lifted. Okay? So our chin is going to be down towards our chest. Our hands are going to be relaxed into our lap. And then with a the bunny, you know how they make the, their noses go back and forth? We're going to inhale fast three times to our nose, and then just exhale out the back. So it's three breaths in on your nose. Ready? Begin. Yep. Okay, so try it again. Ready? One, two, three. And do it again. One, two, three. We look like bunnies. We should have bunny ears for sure. Okay, good one. So um, we'll have Mia pick a card and then we'll do some partner poses after this. Um, Yogi says. Yogi says. Okay, so Yogi says is like Simon says, right? He says, choose a leader and play just like Simon says. Leaders are going to choose different movements of the postures. Players follow along only when the leader says Yogi says. If the leader does not say Yogi says, then players move, then players must perform at a consequence chosen by the leader. Oh, consequence chosen by the leader. I like it. All right, so we're going to stand up nice and tall, and I'll be the Yogi. So Yogi says, get in the chair pose, which is where we bend our knees, our arms go high. It's like we're sitting in a chair, belly's tucked in. So you think you sit a little bit lower, a little bit lower. <laughs> Stand up nice and tall, reach your arms to the sky. Oh, oh. yo, we didn't say. <laughs> that was quick. All right, so we'll do we'll do it two more times. All right, so Yogi, yeah. Yogi says, oh, the consequences will be after yoga class. So Yogi says, get into warrior two. So it's the same thing as warrior one with the legs, but our arms are nice and wide. We look like little surfers. So your arms are stretched out, your, your shoulders are over your hips. Nice. And then your knees, your toes are pointed forward, right? And then your knee is bent just before it goes over the ankle. So it's a 90 degrees. You guys know what 90 degrees is? There you go. go. All right, Yogi says, flip your 
palm of your forward hand. Yogi says, relax the arm behind you. Yogi says, take your hand that's flipped with the palm and reach it up towards the sky. Peaceful warrior. Bring your elbow to your knee. Yogi says, bring your elbow to your knee. This is side angle. Yogi says, stretch your other arm straight up towards the sky and look at your fingers. Bring your back foot to meet your front foot. Oh, you guys are good. Yogi says, bring your back foot to meet your front foot. Yogi says, fold forward and touch your toes. All right, good job, guys. You guys got it. All right, so um, I do want to play a little song for you guys. This is um, by Kira, I think it's Wiley, I believe. And this is called um, Sun Salutations. Um, dancing for the sun. So I'm going to show you how to do it first and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, all right, so let me put it on pause. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is called sun salutation. This is a great warm up for yoga. So um, we're going to come to the top of our mat. I'm going to back up just a little bit. We're going to take, do a um, reverse swan dive as we take our arms out wide. We inhale, reach towards the sky. Then we swan dive forward, like your wings are flying high. Lean forward, touch your toes, tip your toes. Feet jump back to bend your knees and jump back into a plank pose. Okay, and then belly to the ground. So you're gonna lower your belly all the way to the ground. You can bring your knees in if you need to. You're gonna untuck your toes and lift your chest up. Look at the sun and then exhale, downward facing dog. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up like an upside down V, and everybody make a dog sound. And then feet jump to the top like a frog. Fold forward, tickle your toes, bring your arms way up to the sky, and then back to your heart, okay? So that's a sun salutation that you guys can practice for a warm up. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the song, and you guys can download this at home. It's Kira Wiley, and it's Dance for the Sun. So if you guys are ready, we're going to just kind of dance a little bit and then do our sun salutations. All right. So we're going to balance on our right foot and then just make a big star with your arms and go from side to side. Go to the other foot. There you go. Go to the other side. Keep going. And let's see if we can hold it for a little longer. On one side. Keep holding. Other side. Keep holding. You got this. Okay, here we go. Top of your mat. Stretch up high. Inhale. Hang down low. Tip of your toes. Feet jump back. Just like a frog. Belly on the ground. Lower down. Unpick your toes. Look at the sun. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Upside down knee. Breathe. Alright. Our feet are going to jump forward. Just like a frog. Hang down low. Tickle your toes. Stretch up high. Reach to the sky. Mountain pose. Remember, hands are forward. Nice and tall. Just like a mountain. Stretch up high, inhale. Hang down low, tickle those toes. Feet jump back. Down on the ground, lower all the way down. Look at the sun. Downward dog, curl the toes, lift the hips, upside down V. All right, everybody bark like a dog. Intuition game. So sometimes we have 
what's called intuition, where we have a feeling, and it's really just listening to your body, you're listening to your emotions and what's going on, and just we have a sense about things. So I'm going to place this feather underneath someone's mat, and then we're going to pick somebody, and they're going to kind of, kind of feel, and listen, and think, and maybe just guess where the feather could be. Okay, so I'm going to pick Miss Mia to go off to the side for just a minute, and I'm going to hide this feather. And then we're all going to get in child's pose, and then um, she's going to try to guess where the feather is, okay? All right, so close the eyes. All right, and then go ahead and everybody get in child's pose. Our big toes are to touch, our knees are together apart, and our arms are stretched nice and long, and our foreheads rested on the back. All right, Miss Mia, come on over. See if you can find where the feather is. All right, everybody can take their hands and press them up towards their knees. We'll sit up tall. And then what are your thoughts, Miss Mia? Just thinking and breathing and using your intuition of where you think the feather might be. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that was pretty good. So Mia um, won that little game there. Good job. All right. So um, let's do let's do like two more yoga poses, and then um, we'll end our practice with a little um, just relaxation and breathing. Okay. So that's the puppy. He's outside wanting to come in, but we'll do some yoga with dogs the next video. All right, so we're gonna um, take our feet and bring it to the top of our mat. Toes are almost to the top. And then bend your knees. And then we're gonna just take our hands out forward and then see if you can lift your heels up towards the sky. This is bow pose. If you wanna go further, you can extend the legs. Sometimes that makes you tip back. If you're balancing here, that works really good. All right, now take your hand and go to the right. And then to the left, we're going to row our boats. Keep going, keep going, row your boat. Okay, hands on each side of your knees and then stretch your boat out nice and long, low boat, bring it up. And here comes the doggies, bring it back out. It up. Okay, so everybody grab their blocks and you don't need a block at home. You can use like a book or a little pillow. So we're going to put it at the top of the mat. Everybody bring it at the top of the mat. And you're gonna put it in between your feet. And then we forgot to do a few, um, can you go get your block back here, Lachlan? We're gonna do a few um, partner poses before the relaxation, so you guys can this. Okay, put that to the top. Okay, so you can get a book or a little pillow, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your arms out nice and wide and start to lower the body down. And then you're gonna take your, your heels and bring them up towards the sky, grab your block, and then widen open, okay? And then lift, switch up. Do that three more times. Nice stretch. You can bend the knees if that feels good. All right, and then relax. All right, and so we'll do a couple of um, partner poses and then we'll finish up. Okay, so rooftop is really fun. That's from our uh, yoga pretzels. So this is what the rooftop looks like. So Miss Mia and Hannah, if you guys want to get together in the rooftop. So you're going to stand about three feet away from each other and then press your palms together and then reach forward. You can see this is a nice opening um, in between. And then we get up, people go through. These lovely bridges falling down. Down the bridges falling down, falling down, falling down. Remember to drop me down.
come into a down, down dog tunnel. So everybody line up like a tunnel. And if you have little ones, they can crawl right through our little tunnel. So walk them, line up right here and do a down dog next to me. And then if you have little dogs or little people that can crawl right through. Oh, there goes one. No, oh, I'm not going. relaxation book by Lori Light. One day a boy decided to climb a high mountain covered with snow. A polar bear who lived on the other side of the mountain also decided to climb the mountain. The boy worked very hard lifting his legs out of the deep snow. So did the bear. Step after step, they both did climb until they were both very tired and glad to see a rock to rest on. The boy jumped up on the rock and stamped the snow off his boots. He removed his backpack and was startled by the two dark eyes looking at him. Feeling brave and friendly, the boy said, Hi, this is a great rock to rest on. Why don't you join me? The bear smiled and climbed up onto the rock right next to the boy. The boy wiggled his back as he lay down on the rock that had become warm from the sun. So did the bear. The boy opened his arms to feel the sun's warm light on his chest. So did the bear. The boy told the bear to breathe in slowly through his nose and let the air fill his stomach like a balloon then slowly let the air out through his mouth, letting his stomach go down. The boy put his hands on his belly and felt it get big and round and filled with air. So did the bear. Then the boy and the bear together let the air out of their mouths. They both made a gentle ah sound. The boy liked the way this felt. So did the bear. For a few moments, they both did this breathing together. Breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Now the boy was breathing slowly felt the sun warming his face and neck. He kept breathing in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. So did the bear. Next, the boy felt the sun warming and relaxing his arms. Then he felt the sun warming and relaxing his legs. So did the bear. The boy kept breathing slowly. He loved how the sun felt on his belly as it went up and down. So did the bear. The boy welcomed a big, gentle yawn. So did the bear. Now every muscle in the boy's body was warm and relaxed and still. The boy felt his eyes close softly as he fell fast asleep. And so did the bear. The 
begin to wiggle your toes, waving at the body. And taking your time and just rolling on your favorite side with your knees tucked in. We'll relax for just a moment. And then come to an easy seat as you press the hands into the ground, helping yourself up to a tall seat. We'll do a few more breathing exercises. We're going to bring our legs crossed here. So we'll begin our five count breath to take your hand and um, take out the number five. And then you're going to take your other finger and then follow your finger up and down as we inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's a good way to remember to do that. And then we'll do our, um, we, we can do our balloon breath. So we're going to take our hands out to the side, palms facing up, and then we're going to inhale as if we were blowing up like a big balloon. And then your belly is going to push out, so you're going to fill in as much air as you can, and your arms are going to rise as if you're a big hot air balloon, okay? So big breath in. And let the air out. <laughs> and one last breath here, we're going to come to a standing position. This is called the breath of joy. It's almost like we're doing an orchestra and then a bow. So we're gonna do three inhales and then an exhale. So it's inhale, arms up, inhale, arms out, inhale, arms up, and then exhale, dive down. Arms go out like you're flying or bowing, okay? So everybody got it? So we're gonna do that three times and then we're gonna end with a little bit of a meditation. So we'll begin. So inhale, 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 inhale. Last time. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Nice. All right, have a seat. And this is called um, Peace Begins With Me because peace starts here and then from there we spread it around to everyone. So we're going to count with our fingers. Press your index, your pointer finger with your thumb and then to your middle finger, then your ring finger, then your pinky finger. So we're gonna say it out loud um, one time, then we're gonna whisper it, and then we're gonna say it in our minds without saying it out loud, okay? So let's begin. Everybody get your hands ready with the fingers pointing out, okay? And so here we go. So peace begins with me. Whisper, peace begins with me. Close your eyes. Bring your hands to your heart. Thank you so much for practicing with us today. We hope to bring you some more videos um, during this time, and hopefully you're feeling peaceful and less stressed and you learned a few things. So thank you so much, namaste. Namaste. Hey guys, stay tuned for a few crafts after this. Hey, I wanted to show you a few crafts that you could do at home. Uh, if you have some rocks in your yard or uh, any kind of uh, branches or leaves, you can get these little pans or you can get a little flat bowl and get some sand or even dirt. Um, you have some sand from your uh, play box and you can just pour it into the bottom. This would be your little zen garden and we have dogs that are super interested in this. This is not food. Um, so we're gonna take, this is not food, we're gonna take our rocks and you could take some permanent markers. You could decorate rocks with your permanent markers and then place them into your little Zen garden and however you wanna decorate it. And then also just take a fork and then you can rake your little garden like so. And this is kind of a little peaceful way to relax a little bit of soft music and that's just a fun little thing that you can put together so it's called a zen garden and any kind of tools that you have at home will be fun you could put in um, you know like a sad little um, succulents or anything like that and then the last thing I wanted to show you for something fun to do um, you can print these offline 
uh, which are just little mandalas that you can color and um, it's time consuming and you could take little colored pencils or uh, markers and um, have some fun. All right, hope that helps.